<laughs> I need to mute my tablet so that. Oh yeah. There you are. Mute. Okay. So that. Ooh, Concord. Yeah. You. I've been inside one. Oh really? Was it awesome? The damn delight. You. I've been inside one. Oh, really? <laughs> I've just seen a picture of them. Yeah, same. I've been inside one. Oh, I think <laughs> someone has a photo. Is it me? Yeah, same. That's not me. Oh, oh. I turned all my stuff off. Yeah, same. Yes, same. Eve, it's looping back. Yeah, I know, but I can't see why. Why is it looping back? Because you've got this on and you're recording the stream and it's going back into the loop. You need to put earphones in. I have, I have. And all my stuff is muted. I told everybody to stand by. Is it doing it again? Uh, let's just talk to see if it does the, the thing again. We do have a delay. I don't, I turned it up. Oh, uh, Calamity is saying sound loop. Hmm. Okay, so it's okay as long as we switch our mics off when we're not speaking. So it's like um, uh, talk when there is noise, like not push to talk, but um, voice activated mic. Clarity says it sounds uh, clear now. Okay. I may have to go in my studio. It's loud outside. Andy says it sounds. Uh... So, chat, can you tell us if we have any more sound issues, please? Make it voice activated. So, chat. I think it's, it's, um, Oro, could it be you that has the sound loop with the live stream? Oro? I think we might have lost her. Oh, no. <laughs> Otto is saying he'll be, keep quiet. Oh. Yeah, we're still trying to figure this out. How to have many of us in the same um, voice channel. Okay, so what I want to do today is just want to take a quick look, a sneak peek at these um, Terry Harrison watercolors. Um, Terry Harrison is a watercolorist from the UK and he offers some of his um, some of his convenience colors in in tubes of 15 i think milliliters or 14 and the colors seem to be quite nice so i really wanted to try them out and he also sent this pretty amazing painting of the concord it looks like a photograph yeah i didn't realize that was a painting it's pretty amazing So what I got was um, three greens.
I was really interested in, in his colors because he has um, greens, which I I find that there aren't that many greens. Like if you look at the pigment information website, if you look at colors like red, there will be like a ton of pigments. But if you look at the green, there is like 20. And there are also mini purples, which are one... Purple is one of my favorite colors, so I was really excited to try his color mixes because they offer really interesting um, effects of granulation and, 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 and hue. It doesn't really say what pigment are in it in, in the codes, but it says so in, in words. <laughs> So, for example, this one called Tarmac has pigment, sodium, alumino, sulfosilicate, titanium dioxide, iron oxides, and dioxazine. And this green has pigment nitroso green. I know this one is PG8, uh, iron oxide, copper, phthalocyanine, and carbon black. So it's not absolutely uh, unknown. See, this one has the codes. This one has pigment PR101 trans, trans iron oxide red AAT, <laughs> PY42 and PO13. Otto apparently didn't have YouTube muted, so he's gonna give it a try. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Yep. It's only Wednesday. Oh yeah. It's already Wednesday. Oh my gosh. Yeah, purples and blues are my favorites. There there's a lot of choice in the purple range, uh, in the blue range, sorry, but I find that the purple range when you look at at colors, there's not that much going on. Uh do it wants to know uh, are these cheap or expensive paints um uh, I think I have the do I have the the bill nearby they were not cheap but I think they were on par with um, the price you pay for good uh, professional range watercolors of course if you are the kind of person that sorry for the noise if you prefer single pigment these are definitely not for you because they are all convenience mixes. But if you are more fo focused on the way the color looks, um, hello, hey, 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 I made it. Yay! Hey, Otto's no, back with us. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Mark. I had to do it. <laughs> Okay, so the tubes, Hi, Lisa. you have to pop them out like there's this, um, the foil cap. And I'm just going to swatch Is them. Is it just me or does anybody like doing that? I have fun just popping the, oh, really? <laughs> the foil on top. I don't know. I've never seen one like that. Oh, really? I'm always worried it's going to like spill everywhere and make a mess. Like you pop it and it just goes <laughs> all over the, <laughs> all over the surface. Oh, wow, well, that that's... happens anyway. Yeah, but n not as much. Anyway, I, I don't have as many experience of it going awfully bad when popping the, the metal cover than just opening the tubes and it, it just explodes. I've had a couple of tubes just blah, volcano all over the yeah. place. Yeah. So what other brands have those pop-off ones? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of one. You just did you... one recently, Eve. Well, I know the Chinese painting paints usually have the same kind of stuff going on. I did one recently with the pop up. I think so. I know I worked on one, but it's not uploaded yet. Hmm. I'm going to mute for a minute. Hubby's coming in. Oh, okay. So uh, yeah, the first color is this sunlit gold, and it is pretty intense. 
Like I, I only picked up what was in the in the cap from popping the the middle bit, and it's just super intense, super bright yellow. <laughs> Mark is saying that his Daniel Smith tubes went blah, and he wasn't happy. I can see why. Okay, this next one is Autumn Gold. I am thinking I will... Whoa! Explosion! That was really... Really, really pressured. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna use these nine paints together in a set and possibly add like a smick... Uh, well, a, a cyan magenta yellow triad to complete and see what I can paint with that. How did you have to buy them individually? Uh, sorry, if I had, why did I have to buy them individually? And it, was it a set? No, um, I think like the three greens were available together as a small set, and three of the purples, and I I had to buy the rest like solo. But it doesn't really offer um, sets. It's just like if you buy like the three greens, you save a bit of money, but. Since they're all like convenience colors, there is not a full set of the nine colors together. I guess I'm freaking Grace out because she can hear me, and yet I'm in the chat. So this one's definitely more opaque. They don't smell anything. Yeah, they smell. Oh, not. They smell of nothing. <laughs> nothing is good. Oh yeah, it, it is. Is there anything more disappointing than opening a fresh tube and it stinks? Yes. It's like, I've oh. only had one or two like that, thankfully. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Brand paints they are. Uh, what brand of paint? <laughs> they are <laughs> the Terry Harrison collection. I art art. <laughs> Art, art, art. <laughs> Do you want to make amazing art? Hey, is that video still going? <laughs> no idea. They're made in England, though, so um, maybe it's a mix from from what Dilarani could possibly make those of Windsor and Newton. I, I, yeah. Grace had just put in the um, the chat that Eve is the seal now, and when you guys were saying the art art, I was thinking of Moon the seal as well. Oh, luckily he's taking a nap. Aww, and the magical voice in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's three of us in the 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 voice channel. There is um, Val, Otto, and me. So we can have a Hello. friendly discussion going on. Is it going to explode or not? <laughs> yes. No. Ah. Okay. Okay. It's good. It's good. Place your bets now. <laughs> oh, this one is sunlit green. I like the first green you did. Yeah, it's nice. It's um like country olive, which is kind of spot on. They're all so far like um, I think the yellow was mostly transparent but they've all been semi-opaque or opaque. Okay, this oh, that one looks like a good a nice grass green. Oh yeah. That's what I thought was great with the colors, is that they all look... Well, they're all mixes, so of course they kind of look natural. 
I don't feel like you have to mix any of these to to tone down the color into something more um, more real. I was um. I'm super excited for like colors like Bluebell because from the swatches on the website it has amazing granulation. Did you say Bluebell? Colors seem to go yeah. really well together. Yeah, they're basically uh, a triad of the secondary colors because you've got some orangey yellows, greens, and purples. Oh no, I mean, that green is explosion. Oh no! I'm gonna salvage these. <laughs> I'm not gonna let them. <laughs> okay, midnight green. Yes, Grace, some... all of these are convenient convenience mixes. And I am using cheap brush and cheap paper just for the swatches, so it might not be the best way to... What brush are you using? Uh, it is this the, the usual um, Zen Royal and Lignical brush. I bought a new one because this one has been doing all the heavy lifting for more than a year. And it's kind of funny to see how, how nicely pointed it is because this one is like... It doesn't really care about being pointed anymore, but this one is like... It's like a flower bird. Yeah, this one is like... I can't even... Remove the tubing. Uh, what? 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 <laughs> I, I, actually, <laughs> I actually like those brushes. Though I ended up nope. giving quite a oh. few to my stepdaughter for her to start learning with. Uh, oh, no. no. Oh, yeah, got it. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the new one. And it's it's like pointed and this one is just like <laughs> whatever <laughs> i've stopped caring a year ago <laughs> it gave up the point oh yeah very well loved brush we all need kind of this this kind of workhorse brush that is indestructible but always reliable but like not not really good either it's just sturdy <laughs> it's not <laughs> My pro art plus ones are for just doesn't complain, just carries on working, can't do details, but otherwise great. <laughs> this one is gonna be awful, guys. I just poked a tiny pin prick and it's already like like bubbling out. I, I kinda don't want to, to <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna make a mess. <laughs> Okay. Carolina, the <laughs> Carolina, the brush that uh, Eve is using is the Royal and Lake Lane Nickel Zen. Yeah, it is the C E N. It is the, the I think the kind of fake squirrel, but it's definitely way too uh, <laughs> springy to be anywhere closer to squirrel. But it does do a pretty good job. Oh yeah, and it's also like what three dollars. Yes, it's super fun. That's expensive. Yeah, I don't think looking I, three dollar brush. <laughs> I don't think I spent even four dollars on like a bigger flat wash of those. Oh, they are all three dollars. Like, well, here they are like closer to four, but it's because our currency sucks. But yeah, <laughs> they're like three ninety seven. All of them. You get the huge, huge one, three ninety seven. You get the small one, three ninety seven. Three ninety seven. Yeah, <laughs> they really don't care. Huh, maybe the price went up, or like you said, it's Canada. But I think I paid a good dollar less per oh, brush. Wow. Well, if you consider that our dollar is worth seventy five cents of your dollar, sounds That's about true. right. <laughs> That's true. Okay, next color is blue bell. Let's all be excited for blue bell. Bluebell. Bluebell. The only thing I know for Bluebell is is the flower and ice cream. Oh, ice cream. Bluebell ice cream? Oh, really? yeah. Bluebell. It is the best. Is it? Is it the brand? Ice cream out of Bluebell? Yep, it's a brand. Okay. It comes out of Texas. Oh, wow. Oh, no, my pinky is doing the weird pinky thing. And I always have, like, this... this, this... 
It, it <laughs> looks fancy, but it's really just a measure of not putting my pinky in the paint all the time. <laughs> because that happened a lot. Uh, yeah, I do that. I didn't realize I did that until I started filming myself painting. Same. It's kind of funny and silly. <laughs> That's probably how you drink your tea, too, huh? No, not Thank you. you. With your little pinky out. Pinky. <laughs> All right, so that was Blue Bell. This is pretty amazing. I love how um, uh, I always get mixed up in the words, but they, they seem to have good tinting strength. None of these colors seem to be weak. And I know they are fresh from the tube, so that helps, but. Yeah, I prefer to have like the strongest color and then diluting it than the other way around. That purple looks really nice. It is. And it's like granulating already. Um, Green, want... violet tea color? Yeah. It's, uh, isn't sodium alumino sulfosilicate like uh, ultramarine blue? I think Otto's been seeing these chemical words a lot lately. <laughs> I've got I, say, I, I know what an ultramarine blue is. <laughs> I can't answer that question. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Ah, I can't either. Oh so, no, Moon woke up. Oh no, Seal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go let her out. So I'll mute because it will get loud. Okay. <laughs> bark, bark, bark. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's lovely. That's the color that's called shadow. And I guess that's what it's meant to paint. Shadows. Yeah. Grace is asking, she doesn't understand why some of these are mixes. Well, all of these are mixes. They are um, convenience colors, uh, sort of made with the instructions of painter Terry Harrison. I think these are colors perhaps he, he felt were missing in his palette or that he ended up mixing often. So through some magic, he was able to get these paints made in the UK and they feature, I guess, some of his favorite mixes or colors that he wanted to have in his palette. You they are all... Yeah. Sorry? multi-pigments versus single pigments. Yeah, they're all multi-pigment. But we were talking about this and long story short, I really don't care that they are multi-pigment. But if it's something that is like really important for you guys, these are possibly not at all for you. But I mean, I end up making multi-pigment mixes in my palette anyway, so... Well, you gotta keep in mind that my camera is terrible. <laughs> so, this is kind of a... Um, granulating purple that's a tiny bit like imperial purple in the way that it has like heavy bluish granulation and then a pinkish undertone and this one is kind of a um, orangey yellow i guess you could find a single pigment color that is similar to this but yeah this one is made well this one is made from two pigments which is not that bad considering yeah it it I think that's a camera. The camera is kind of lousy with the color balance, but it is um, kind of a really deep blue, almost purpley blue, with a pinkish undertone. I will eventually be able to upgrade to a better camera, I hope. Or at least a way to set it up so it doesn't mess up the colors. I really don't understand why this camera doesn't want to do a better job. Because it's it, because he wants to do cats. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That's the cat cam. 
Mm. Hmm. Well, if I ever get a better camera, this one is going to be the, the official cat cam. And the better one... It'll, like, chip in and get Eve a camera so that we can have a cat cam as well. <laughs> no, no, no. No. But yeah, it's, it's in the um, long-term channel upgrade list. Count. <laughs> well, what do you use as a camera, Otto? Do you um, use... I have bought... I haven't used one. Hang on, let me see what camera it is. The camera, I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> the place it should have been, but I don't know where it is now. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost it. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, because I moved my studio last week. Uh huh. Yes. And the camera is gone. Uh, I've just noticed. I didn't even notice that the camera was gone. Oops. Well, good luck finding it if you don't know where it went. <laughs> it's gonna be a. <laughs> You'll know that I found it if I go on live stream at some point. Yeah. Yeah. I tried... Um, Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, no problem. I tried to um, do live streaming with my phone, but I sort of had to use the software in between the, the, the phone and the computer. And it was so choppy. It was like... A seven frame per second. It was really not good. So that went away, but then I'm stuck with the webcam that doesn't really care about color correction all that much. Just want to do its camera thing and not bother her <laughs> and be just like, well, there's an image. Who cares if it's grainy, gray, and the wrong color? It's well, an what image. What camera are you using? It's a Logitech. Is it a cat or is it a not cat? Not cat? We don't care. Yeah, yeah. It just it just wanna film cats. But it's a, it's an older Logitech model. Logitech is a good brand, but this camera is just weird. I think the camera could do a good job if there was a way to play with the settings in an intelligent way. But it's not set up that way. It's set so the settings are really dumb. And they like to reset themselves every once in a while. I like the Logitech. No, thank you for the I warning. Before I start I, live streaming. <laughs> yeah, my Logitech Rio that I just got, I'm liking that one and you can really adjust it. It's a Rio, you said? Brio, B R I O. Oh, okay, nice. I'll have to check that out. So Yeah, you can control the saturation. The this light is saying light that balance. the Peckle Parang video was excellent stuff, and I agree with her. The what? <laughs> video. Kitty video. Oh, oh, the purring one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I I have one of Scout for next week. Yes. Because why not? <laughs> was so relaxing. Yeah, it is. Don't repeat. <laughs> it doesn't loop really well and I had to, to, to like turn it down at the end because she went really loudly purring into the mic. So it would be like all oh, this relaxing noise and then purr, purr, like, whoa, what, what, I'm not sleeping, I'm not sleeping, that's okay. So, <laughs> it really made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so that that drill. Yeah. <laughs> like she was trolling us, she's like, oh you're asleep? You're asleep? Not anymore. <laughs> but yeah. Craigie. Uh, do uh do hamsters make kind of a purring noise? Do they have something similar? Um well Jazz has started making this um we thought she was sneezing all around. <laughs> yeah, that's actually her chatting to us. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Like something that we're doing for her. <laughs> it's a sign of approval. <laughs> that's adorable. 
I, I can now have her, her like on my hands and arms and she's really totally comfortable now. Okay. I'd say she's pretty well tamed. Can you move with her on you or is she not really sure about that? Oh, we can go from the pen to her, um, from her cage to her playpen mm -hmm. by hand now. That's pretty cool. I'm just can grow, growl. What is the chat going on about holy? Holy moly. Oh, they were just talking about... Um, um, I think the general gist is about how the bigger channels or the bigger art channels have kind of moved away from doing art on the channels and doing more like lifestyle, lifestyle oh, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, I've noticed that too. Even, even Theo, who is pretty awesome, he does a lot of, you know, um, tech reviews of like screens and tablets and stuff and I'm always like well I, do I don't even understand the basic of this stuff so these videos just lose me after a couple of minutes and I'm like whoop um, okay this is a screen and this is a tablet and that's as far as my ability. see paint yeah I want to see paint I want to see brushes and and him drawing because his his urban urban sketching is really nice, but it's not so much like oh this new 4K screen and I'm like 4K, what? We are old. Let's take <laughs> so yeah, is is holy um holy brown? I know that Bailey J, that's the, the one big name I can think of that has done a lot more um, lifestyle and less art lately. Yeah, I guess it's quite hard though because people say they want to see more of you as a person, so you put that up. Yeah. It's not art, so it gets hard to get the balance right. I guess, but still, I mean... Oh well, it's just, it's going to be weird because there, there's going to be those channels with a, a great amount, a great number of subscribers, but not so many views on the videos because the people who subscribe, they subscribe for something else than lifestyle all the time. So it's going to be weird. I heard about the new um, rumored is suppressing people's videos from their subscribers. Who is rumored to I don't, I don't think YouTube is really rumored suppressing. Rumored bot on YouTube? Suppressing certain videos? Oh, really? From being seen even by their subscribers? Hmm. That, you know, if you really want to see something from people's channels, then obviously do the whole liking and interacting with the videos and subscribing and a notification button yeah. but also like follow them on their social media because obviously we always say hey we just put out a video so mm. that you don't miss it I, I always forget to say that yeah <laughs> so you guys follow like eve on all the social media channels that she's on oh and speaking of i've put a link in the description for this video to a discord channel if you guys would like to have some sort of a chatting platform for art stuff and this is the place where we are sort of using the voice channels so it's kind of a nice thing discord if it's even if it's a bit confusing I don't know that YouTube is suppressing people if their videos it's like confusing to begin with <laughs> yeah it is if you look at your subscription tab, all the videos are there. It's just that YouTube isn't notifying a person about every single video. I'm just going to go for a second because I need to change rooms because my battery is running out. Oop. 
Yeah, I've noticed that, that even if I'm like uh, subscribed and I've activated the notification icon, I will miss on, on, on certain videos. And I've seen it happen often if I'm like logged out of um, YouTube. If I'm not logged in in YouTube, it's not going to send me a notification. And I'm like, well, you can still email me and I'm going to log back in and, and watch it. It doesn't have to be so precise. It and then have... check your settings. Yeah, check your settings and make sure you have push notifications turned on. Mm. And also now when somebody pushes the bell they to get the notifications, they should get a little message that pops up that says you'll get occasional notifications mm -hmm. but if you hit if you hit the option you can option yeah. to hit to click all and then mm. you will get all the notifications yeah 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 i saw that recently yeah and, and you know so, how they set it up now so you have to before you just had to click once and it would bring you to the upload page and now they've added this kind of these new options that have yet more clicks to to upload stuff and, and it's just so weird because they they really do what they want to do with all this stuff they don't really they don't seem to have a goal in mind for the people using the platform like the creators so much as the people using the platform the watchers and it's just so weird because like the thing like the, the notification not being um there all the time you're like well if i went all this way to subscribe and say i want to be notified when these people uploads th that's what i want i don't want to have to go there three time and and change the feature so it finally gives me the thing that it was sounding like at first so i'm i'm not it's just so confusing it's not super I, simple I can yeah. Yeah. yeah i completely yeah. understand like, if we have to already hit the notification bell mm -hmm. Isn't that enough to yeah. show a commitment? No. The thing is, is they found, based on the things that I have watched on this topic, they found that, you know, people were hitting subscribe in the notification bell, but then if they were notifying that person of all the uploads that were coming through, that peop that person would start... Uh, and had a is also saying that they are noticing missing out, being notified about... You know, new videos coming out from other channels as well. So I think this is something that's definitely happening. So if you really want to on like Eve's videos and things, then I mean, you put out notifications about things like Twitter, right? No, I, I don't actually. You don't have your YouTube connected to your Twitter so that you can no. just type in a little message? No, I don't. That's like the only thing I do on Twitter. What? I'm, I'm not... Well, I just... I, I think it's just that I find it a bit dull that uh, when, when it's set up like that, it doesn't even put the thumbnail. So you basically have this all text thing going to Twitter with That's no fair. image and it's it's like it, it's so easy to miss it in the stream of everything all the random stuff going on 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 there that I, I would have to manually do it and I just always forget about it and I'm looking for a palette so sorry for the noise okay so we basically have to pray hard the YouTube will let us know when Eve releases a new video hello I have a kitty. Which one was fun? It's Speckle. I don't know if she will comment. Do you have anything to say? Okay. No? We know, we know. No, she has nothing to say. She wants some uh, head rubs. Though. Ah, where is this stupid palette? Gonna be off make for a sec. Longer leave the, your chat room quietly. What are you looking for?
You say she's looking for a pallet. <laughs> I always do this thing where I prepare stuff for um later and then I forget. So um yeah. Looking for I'm looking for a small um smic well smi <laughs> no black but the uh, cyan magenta yellow palette that was in a tin somewhere. And I just don't know where like I've done some. Grace, I'm sorry, Grace. I'm sorry, Grace. Grace is asking, "How big is your studio?" I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is, it is ridiculous. It is small. I'm sharing a room with uh, Mr. E, and while he has a lot less stuff than I do, it's still not big. So yeah. Uh, just grab anything that's similar. Okay. Oh, so um, I see that some people are leaving. Um, well, thanks you, thanks you, <clears throat> thanks a lot for being there, and hopefully we can um, chat again soon. Yeah, it's not that the studio is big; it's just that my memory is bad. And that I remember with where things are if they were there long enough, but if I move them somewhere else and they haven't been in the new place for a long enough time, like my short term memory is crap. So I'm like, well, it's somewhere in there and I'm going to find it when I'm not looking for it. I do the same thing. I'm like, oh, I got everything organized. Now where is everything? <laughs> yes. That's, that's really it. It's such a sad moment because you're like, well, I wouldn't have cleaned up if I had known I would be looking it's for so everything. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, but I have to clean up my studio after each project because if I don't, it just drives me nuts. An expensive nuts. webcam somewhere. <laughs> mm, I wonder what you're referring to. So I have no idea where it went. Yeah, same with my palette. Can look on Amazon and see what camera I did buy. Bye. Um. <laughs> One for you might not have the stuff, but we can tell you what you did lose. <laughs> Okay, so I, I'm just I grabbed this this palette, which has a magenta, a sort of cold slash neutral yellow, and it doesn't have phthalo green blue shade, but it has phthalo green phthalo blue green shade, but it has phthalo blue red shade. Brand is it? Oh, it is a uh, the Crummy Cutman, but I've just poured new paints in there. And not even in pans because it's pretty difficult to find these stupid Windsor and Newton small pans. So I just poured the paint directly in the palette and went like, Bleh. "This is my my old uh, Cutman palette from when I got the set like twenty years ago or something." Mm -hmm. So it's it's seen it's seen war and a lot of action. But yeah, it's Cutman, and it's really not my favorite brand, so. The pans went out a long time ago. And this is a, a dupe of a wet paint palette that they made many years ago. Did you know that White Knight has just released 69 tube paints? What? No, I did not. Wow. Oh, does that mean that they would have that super lovely PG8 green in tube? Because if so, Oro, you have to get it. Oh, 
Oh, it. Hang on, no, but PG. Eighteen is Holbein, right? Oh. And blue. <laughs> the chat is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where where did you see the the winds, the white knight tubes? Sorry, was it on Jackson's? <laughs> where? <clears throat> I don't really understand why the 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 affordable paints are not more available like we have all these pbo and pentel rubbish paint but no way to get the white knight paints in a store around here and they are like cheaper and far better quality said it's available in a finnish website <laughs> what's up what's up cat What's up? No? Time to beg for the third meal out of four. A few minutes since they were fed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, did you know hobbits? Like, there's what? There's a, a breakfast, second breakfast, uh, tea, lunch, second lunch. Cats are the same. There was a, a reason for it at first, because when we got them, um, a scout would have issues with keeping her food down so we decided we thought that it would help her if we gave her many small meals rather than a big one yeah that's her making noises uh, but it wasn't super effective she's really crazy right now um so yeah it, it turns out that she had then a food allergy and that was why she was sick all the time so when we fixed that uh, she stopped being sick all the time, but they still kept the the habit of the hobbits to eat like 10 times per day. So yeah. The, the worst cat I ever cat sat had to be fed, right, wait for this, six, six times a day, <laughs> which is like a lot to begin with, right? Yeah. It gets worse. <laughs> Two courses per meal. What? Right? A starter and a main. <laughs> Okay, and wait, where it gets worse, it had a specific type of cod. Actually, it was Alaskan Pollock. I still remember it. What? I had to boil the fish. You had to cook just for the cat? Fish ate better than we did. That's <laughs> <laughs> But why was it like a pedigree cat with the super specific diet, or yeah, it was it was like a Maine Coon cat that just hadn't been looked after properly. Oh no! It had all sorts of problems. Like the diet was the least of his problems. Oh no, poor cat! It, it's what stopped us, like cat sitting cats that we didn't know. Uh huh. Oh. Like, when you offer to cat sit somebody else's cat, always check their meal plan first. <laughs> That's such a funny, like, thing to to say because you're like, look at their what? <laughs> meal plan? Thank you, but it tells you a lot about oh, how yeah. the owner treats the cat. Um, yeah, but now I wonder what, what it says about me. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Oh, so someone, Lana is saying in the chat that Jackson's has the white knight tube sets. Um, I will go and hunt this down. <laughs> <laughs> the PG8 green is really amazing. I, it's, it's not expensive. It's like, what, a full pan is under two pounds on Jackson? Which is sort of really good price. But the, the I gotta pick it up because it's gonna be fun to see Let's with go. these. Where is it? Where is it? I really regret cleaning up my um, palette drawer because I have no clue where everything is right now. <laughs> Whoops, I think Scout just broke everything. <laughs> okay. Oh no. What happened? <laughs> she, she's, uh, she's having a crazies. 
So she runs around and she tries to go as fast as she can, but she doesn't break. So sometimes she just ends up into the stuff that's on the counter and it just everything clatters to the ground and it's just a mess. So she definitely just just threw everything on the floor somewhere. And Pekka went to investigate. Okay, so I found a set of 24 pin paints okay. on White Knight on Jackson's. Was it 69 or whatever it was? Yeah, 69. Puzzle. Mm -hmm. the... Alright. Having to switch everything out from live stream to back to regular video. Oh, yeah. It's kind of weird that there is not a preset for that. Or maybe there is and I haven't found it. Oh no, I'm just switching cameras and oh, okay. reference photos and all that good stuff. I do use the It says that um, her cat will not eat fancier than me. He knew someone who had a cat that would only eat prawns from not just any prawns, but this is M and S prawns. M <laughs> what's what's M and S? Oh, uh, now it's upmarket supermarket. Oh, okay. I, I tried to buy some of the PG-8 pigment, like this super nice green pigment, but it was something like $36 of shipping and I, I just laughed and closed the page. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, not getting my $36. Yeah, and like the, the pigment, the, the 100 gram of pigment was like $8. It was not expensive, but the shipping was through the roof. Just insane. This is insane. Yeah. It's way much more than the standard fifteen dollars I'm used to for for most sites. So I went like, whoop, nope, not happening. Me but from Britain, even fifteen dollars shipping is insane. Yeah. Okay, so the weird noises that will happen at some point are the cats again, because now they decided to chase one another. <laughs> Lena says there's a tube of the original Queen Gold going for $50 on eBay. Uh, $50. $50. Wow. I never tried the original Queen Gold. That much better. That fifty dollars better? Not, not fifty dollars better. No. I can swatch it because I have it just here. I just need to find it. Yeah. Zoe says she's seen it for seventy dollars. Yikes. I'm, I'm kind of glad I bought m more than one tube in backup, but then again, it's like, it's a bit silly because it's like, well, it's, it's just a color. You can, you can paint something without that color. It's not, it's, it's a nice color, but I mean, it's, it's not like it's the only yellow available. Well, I got lucky when I ordered when Denise did her video and then I went on to Amazon and still found some. I ordered mm -hmm. and it was well, supposed to be, you know, here in a couple from. of days. And so, then it took like two months and so I thought I was gonna get the new formula. It turns out I got the old one. Don't oh, know what wow. happened there. <laughs> a stroke of luck. And that I did, because I was like, well, okay. Because Amazon kept asking. For the core travel set? 
and one on my store had hundred dollars shipping to Finland from Spain. <laughs> what? It's a tiny tin of, of the tiny little box. A hundred dollars. Whoa. What? Darren says something similar that he was looking at buying pigment from a Canadian site and shipping would have been hundred dollars. Oh really? Was it come up? Come up pigments? Because Canadian shipping is gross. It's it's gnarly. What was it? I sent something to Canada, like the province next to me. Like I'm in Quebec and right next to you have we have Ontario. So I was sending something to Ontario, quite a small package, but just a bit, you know, higher than what would fit in the, the special slot mm -hmm. for mail. And my choices for shipping were either $12 for regular mail or $13 for tracking. And at the same time, I sent something to Otto in the UK that was like this weird misshapen package with like a huge thing in there. And it was like just lumpy and weird. And it cost me $10 to send like halfway over the world ten dollars and to send it like right next door thirteen. <laughs> like what? Why? What are you smoking? Canadian shipping's really high though, because when I was traveling around the world I would send like postcards. Yeah. Mom. Just to like, you know, as a way to let her know that I'm thinking of her and that I'm still alive. Mm -hmm. So that she can track me. And the postcard cost sent postage was like double everywhere else oh, that really? I went. Wow. It's like um, two or three dollars, I think, like regular mail for uh, international. Like we have three prices. We have Canada, uh, US and international. Like Canada is about a dollar fifteen. US is two dollars something. And international is three dollars something, I think. Just for regular mail, it's kind of it's expensive. It is. Which is why when I, I when I ship out paints, um, I really can't go for fancy packaging because um, if if the package is just thicker than two centimeters, uh, the price is going to be like drastically higher. And if I can fit everything like that, it can go into the, the space of two centimeter high, then mm -hmm. it's going to be like a good, decent price for shipping. And it's just that's why I cannot have like nice boxes or I can't sell um, tins with paints in it because it's going to cost like $40 to ship out. It's just going to be insane. So I have to, I try to always keep everything as flat as possible and spread out the height and tape everything down so it stays flat. That's the only way I can ship out the stuff at a reasonable price. I also made my own like um, piece of cardboard with the, the the hole in it to slide the mail through to see if it passes the test. So I don't yeah. get to the post office and they're like, well, this will cut, cost $20. And you're like, ah, well, I, I, I sold this. I sold this with like $6 shipping and now it's costing me 20 and it's just not fun for anyone. All right, so um, well, that's that's the sneak peek into the Terry Harrison colors, like all of these nine swatches. So we have two um, yellow oranges, three greens, and four purplish tones. I will be making a, a like a legit review at some point, but I was super excited to try these, and I wanted to um, share the experience and also try uh, the the live stream with the with the chat in it like Hello. voice channels so a big thank so what's you what's your opinion of those colors uh i'm really excited about them i like the bluebell is amazing with the crazy granulation and super nice intensity of color mm -hmm. um overall like oranges greens and purples are my favorite colors more than the primary colors so i was super psyched to try them and now I have them, so I'm really excited to see what I can do with them. But I think I will, like I said, I will put them in a 12-spot palette with 
uh, a triad just so I have the triad to use as a base and all yeah. these as convenience and like you can get some pretty dark tones with the colors and the fact that they are multiple pigment really doesn't change anything to the way they look and the way they mix like most of them mixed really well like perhaps the color was a brown but you need brown sometimes so how is I that a bad thing green on the bottom left is gorgeous this one yeah the green purple one yeah uh, Dryad asks, were they were these paints expensive? Um, about nine or ten pound per fourteen milliliters tube. What's the second warmer yellow? This one. This is autumn gold. Autumn gold. It is a uh, opaque color made from three pigment. Semi-opaque, opaque, opaque, semi-transparent, opaque again, opaque, 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 and opaque. So yeah. A lot of opaques, so not for me then. Nope. Nope, sadly. Though I think you might like the bluebell one. I mean, yeah, it's opaque because the ultramarine color in there is thick and opaque, but the effect has like areas that are fairly transparent, but then you have to granulation. I think this would look amazing with the gauze. Word, yeah. And it's like a nice, it will make a nice trio with the um, Imperial Purple and the Rose Ultramarine. That's yeah. like the blue sister. Oh yeah, oh, do I have those here? Uh, See? Yep, I do. Yay! So this is Rose of Ultramarine. Called it bluebell. Uh, Temple's Blueberry, wondering blue what bell. the best. Bluebell. Blue it's bluebell. Yeah. Temple and, uh, and Zoe are asking what the orange is. It's autumn gold. This one here. The orange on the second row. This here. I just reading. <laughs> What's the orange on the second row? Yeah, I'm just trying to look for it. I guess it's this one, but it's it's the um, autumn gold mixed with the burnt shadow, like this color and this color mixed together for this kind of muddy thing. Muddy, moody, moody, moody. Yeah. So yep, they're saying yep that one. Yeah, Rose of Ultramarine. This is um, Imperial Purple, and Bluebell is definitely more. Um, bluish again. That is nice. Yeah, it's lovely. That is really nice. Yeah. This one, the tarmac, I think, the last color, is reminiscent of um, either Shadow Violet or Moon Glow. The one that is pinkish a bit. Not the orange one, the pink one. Purple. Moon Glow. Yeah. I don't think it's in this Can tray. I get confused by the, na the naming between Shadow Violet and Moon Glow? Yeah, well, I should remember that it's reverse. Violet one isn't the violet one. Yeah, <laughs> the violet one, the violet named one is not the violet looking one, oddly enough. I really wonder what happened there. Like, how they, they looked at this and went, yep, yep, the violet one is going to be Moon Glow and the shadow violet one is going to be the orange one. And you're like, like what? They like, can't even see how the violet one is called Moon Glow. Yeah. It's just... Well, yeah, the, the name Moon Glow itself is kind of stupid. Because if you look at the moon, it's going to glow white. Want it? <laughs> uh. Like orangey, yellowy color, but like that violet color? Yeah. Maybe they just uh, did the paperwork. Um, <laughs> they switched the paperwork and it was too late to change it out. <laughs> ah, <laughs> screw okay. this. So this is... Let's go with it. Nobody will make a comparison video and start complaining about <laughs> <that. laughs> Okay, so that's, that's Moonglow. 
and it's very very similar to Moonglow. And that's Shadow Violet. Dryad is asking, what's the difference between violet and purple? Dryad asks, what is the difference between violet and purple? Uh, the way I sort of, well, you guys can tell me what's your take on this, but for me, violet is bluish and purple is red-ish or a bit more in the middle. Mauve, mauve would be even redder. I tend to agree with that. Like violet, purple, and mauve. Makes me really, really weird. Weird effect to say mauve, not in French. <laughs> mauve. Mauve. I don't know. But I mean, English is my second language. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's weird because it's the same word in French, but it's not said the same way. So I'm, all, I'm I get confused when that happens. Same with f fuchsia. Fuchsia. <laughs> and I have I have the, the the French Canadian accent, which is akin to a lumberjack's. So it's never really fancy or cute. Accent. Mine's like a mixture of very many places. Yeah, it's pretty amazing I find your accent because some words will definitely have a Japanese touch to them and others are really, really like Scottish and, and English. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's kind of, it's very unique. It's very unique. I can say that. Maybe I should label these colors before I go, just quickly. So you can't get confused. So this is sun... Oh, hello cat. Hello cat. Can we get a peek? I will try to catch her, but she's probably gonna run away. Why, baby? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah, uh, gotcha. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, I actually get to speak to her! Yes! Oh. Hello baby, that's Scout. I don't know if you can see her. I can't flip her around because she's gonna eat me. Oh! Hello! Oh, she's beautiful! Hello, I can see your little paws! <laughs> show your paws. No? Don't wanna show your paws? No? Oh. Show your ears, show your face. No, oh, she wants to dash oh, away. No. No. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for the cat. <laughs> Always happy to 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 share a cat. I, I just don't want to get maimed by them. It can happen. Like playing with Scout is always a, a great big risk because she doesn't understand the action of like not having the claws out when she's playing. She was, yeah. She's always claws out all the time, 24-7 claws. So yeah, we have we still get many scratches from her. Um Trim has claws. Sorry? Her claws. Not not the um horrific cutting off thing, just like with a nail clipper thing. Oh yeah, yeah. We have um we have like the, the small claw scissors that you just clip off the, the sharp end of the claws. Yeah, declawing is kind of really not a good practice. And yes, she is a torty with way too much torty to the cat. I just I just when I found out what that was about, I was just like, you guys are insane. What do you mean you guys? No, not you. Not you. Not you. <laughs> no, but was it not something that was frequent? I was just like, why would you do that? Not a clue. Because it ruins furniture? People are it's dumb? It's more important than your cat. You don't deserve to have a cat. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm 100% with you on that. And the first cat I had was declawed because my parents didn't know any better. And I was a kid. But yeah, the moment... The moment sort of it became more known what declawing is. And it, actually declawing is like removing this part of the finger on the cat. So yeah. you don't just remove the claws, you remove, you you mutilate them, you remove a part of their paws. And they never really get over it. Like my cat that was declawed still would do all the stuff you would instinctively do. 
oh, but he yeah. was declawed and it was just so weird and yeah you I can just, have i just don't see how the, us as a human race we know what we can do we can do that and it's just like that's horrific yeah that is it is and like for the the, the four paws and she's back she's back Come, 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 She's a super dark tortoise, so it's kind of difficult to see. She looks oh, almost black. Hello, you, you, you. Beautiful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> she's feeding me fur. I can't believe I'm like going live making these noises, but she's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. Oh, she's so cute. Cats. I hope one day we'll see Jazz in a when when she gets more comfortable. You gotta show us sneak peeks of jazz. I've noticed that she, I think her eyesight is really bad. Oh no! And hamsters are fine to go blind. Okay, okay. And don't have good eyesight to begin with, and a lot of hamsters lose their eyesight as they get older. Huh. But I think she's just particularly bad. And so when we put like a bright enough light to film her, mm -hmm. it freaks out. Oh no! Being able to film her because she's obviously up at night. Oh, um, to be able to like film something for you guys. We we had one day where she was awake in the morning, so we got some footage for this month's. We need to uh, get you um, a, uh, you know the the what is it the, the night filming camera the you know the green yeah. filter. We have a night cam for just like making sure she's okay while we're away and stuff. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look so cute. It's this like dark hamstery shape with glowing eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, <laughs> I will try to. This will, this might be a bit intense. I will just cover this up so it's not too intense. But I will try to. I'm sorry that I have a British accent. I know it's really hard to understand a British accent, particularly mine. No, it's not. Well, if yours is hard to understand, I don't want to know what mine is. It feels like I have a potato in my a hot potato in my mouth all the time. Well, Clementy says I'm the only exception. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> what, what are you doing to the camera? Hold on, I'm trying to move it so I can film the silly baby. Is it? Is it? I'll see her. Is it? Yeah, it should be. No. 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 Um. Dark. I don't. Too dark. Oh, she's just moving it, readjusting it. She's, she's, it's too dark. I don't think ooh, you can ooh, see Scout. Do, is, is it going to turn into a... Oh, hi, Val! <laughs> yeah, okay. I've been here. All right, so um, I'm going to close ooh, this. You. <laughs> I've been here. Fuck. So, I thank wasn't you. Here if, <laughs> I wasn't here if you could hear me. Well, now, now we can, but you were silent for a while. It does look like we missed, lost Eve. Oh no, no, there we go. He's oh, he's doing cat cam. I was trying to do cat cam, but it's a lousy camera. Cam. Okay, so I'm just gonna end this stream here, and um, thank you everyone for uh, coming up to listen to us chat about paint and I don't stuff. I think and Eve's gonna be able to to see light them up enough to see them. No, this is the same problem I have with trying to film jazz. 